Hi, I'm Don. Today's miniature is from Asgard Rising Miniatures. Asgard Rising produces terrain and really cool miniatures like this bat creature. Today we'll talk about limiting your palette so that you could fully improve your painting when it comes to miniatures. So watch this video as we turn this mini into this. Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my studio. This channel is supported by all these awesome brands. And of course, this channel, this smallish channel, won't be possible without the support of my awesome patrons. In this video, I won't talk you through the painting of the whole miniature. In fact, the other parts of the painting, the base painting, basically the basing and the other parts of the mini are included in the longer version at Patreon. However, we'll talk about limiting your palette when it comes to miniature painting. So if you're a miniature painter that is very good at army painting or slop chop or those army speed painting stuff, this video and of course this channel is for you. This is like bridging the gap between like the very, hmm, what's the word? Like the very speed, the quality of speed painting and the quality of competition pieces. So I try to bridge that gap because basically I'm not credible to talk about competition piece painting because I'm from the Philippines and there's, we don't have golden demon. Anyways, one way to improve your painting is to limit your palette. But first off, muted palette, the saturated colors, is not similar or a bit similar but is not really directly similar to a limited palette. You can see in the video, I'm just painting with reddish skin and of course bluish skin and fur. So I basically just have two colors. Although you see now that I'm painting the base gray, basically the gray will balance out everything and of course the teeth and the claws will also balance out the blue and reddish skin parts. So it's easy to do this, you just need to select a miniature that you could paint with just two colors, two or three. Three, the third color being just a neutral grayish or tannish or basically armor colors. So you need to choose a miniature that has two dominant colors. Like this one, it's blue and reddish skin. An orc is a perfect example because it has like green skin and then brownish parts. So it's also a perfect example or a perfect piece for this painting. So the main advantage of painting with limited palette, basically with just two colors, is that you'll be focused on just two colors. So you'll be focused on making the red parts, in this case the red skin, really good. And you're also focused on making sure that the blue parts are, all, are also good. So you're basically limiting like the colors that you have to paint really well. Which makes it a really good practice or like exercise if you want to improve your painting. A limited palette for me is not as... How do you say it? It's not as literal as selecting just a limited number of bottles of paints. A limited palette for me is making sure that the final output only has like a couple of colors that really stands out. So you basically don't need to limit the colors you're using or especially the paints that you are using as long as you're like really focused on achieving a two color or even a trifecta color that you're really focused on improving. Now here comes the tricky part. I painted the eyes red which reminds me of a very vampire bat eyes. So I refrained from using eye yellow or orange. So I had to tone down the skin so that the eyes will pop a bit more. So I had to use some flesh tones to tone down the saturation of the red skin. So basically you play around with all these colors but you're focused on just making sure that the red skin color is looking really good especially against the blue fur and blue skin parts. 
another advantage of just limiting your palette like this one is similar to using a muted palette, meaning you're using the saturated or not so vibrant colors. But here, we're using vibrant colors, although we're limiting it to two colors. The main advantage of that is that you're focused on improving your highlighting and improving your like sense of luminance or what is brighter or brightest. As you can see in the miniature, the brightest part and the brightest highlight is the highlight, the dot highlight on the eyes. And then everything else is a little less uh, vibrant or highlighty or, <laughs> or bright as the highlight on the eyes. Simply put, if you're limiting your palette or as literal as limiting the colors or paints that you're using will make you like really focus on the more important parts which is to achieve really nice contrast in terms of the luminance or brightness and darkness of the different parts of the model. Also your volume painting or some people call it environmental painting so that the miniature looks like it's actually in the environment and also it will help you focus on which are the most important parts in terms of the highlighting which are the brighter parts or the darker parts it also improves your like selection of colors when you're starting or if you're still planning for the painting of the miniature so this is a very nice exercise. I highly recommend you get a miniature and limit your palette by painting just two colors. Three if you cannot with just the two colors. And then really focus on those two colors to make it really look super good. Now it's time to thank my awesome patrons. Again, this channel won't be possible without the awesome support of my patrons. I am one of the most active Patreon pages around and I've just activated the 7-day free trial for my bronze and silver tiers. I highly like I highly invite you. <laughs> Basically, I'm inviting you to check out my Patreon page and you simply unsubscribe before the 7th day so that Patreon cannot charge you anything. So that's it for this project. I think you just need to get a miniature that you think you could pull off with just two colors. Like this one, I just use basically red paints and some blue paints to pull off the painting of this bad creature. Now choose a vibrant color and a neutral color to pair with the vibrant color or choose two complementary-ish colors to paint your miniature. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you will enjoy your practice or your painting with a limited palette. That's it, Pansit! <laughs>